Hello guys, so I'm back with another video and this time it is the exclusive for the Arcane Archer and it's Light Crystal Armor. Uh, yeah, as you see, <laughs> there's barely any difference uh, between the skins. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what the skills are about. Uh, the Awakening Type SKE3 Array. Yeah, weird name. Uh, the Arcane Archer gains energy, controls eye, whatever, uh, dealing damage equal to 30% of its attack to the target nearest to the Arcane Archer. And when Magic Awakening triggers, the array gains one energy. Uh, when you gain 8 energy, it consumes and you get back 12% of max HP. Uh, so a little bit of damage and uh, a little bit of healing, so nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, unit damage and DR for all of the tower units. And uh, second star increases unit damage when each time she gains energy. Uh, so it stacks up to 45 percent unit damage so 20 45 65 percent unit damage uh what's here two random enemy units so same as this but not 30 percent but 15 percent but decreases the block value which is nice uh, when there are no enemy units increases attack speed and dr so protection from AOE and a bit more attack speed. Attack speed isn't the greatest of stats. So here the Arcane Archer teleports the enemy unit back uh, to a random caster or ranged unit. So like if Faceless teleports for example onto her, she'll port him back decreases the movement speed, uh, unit damage, and DR, and yeah, nothing big. And, oh, the, so yeah, the unit which got teleported also gets hit with the array, and the skill has a 12 second uh, pre-cooldown and can only be triggered once. After Arcane Eagle enters the body state, astral body state increases crit hit nearby Archer, so it's like for herself. And when Eagle crits, it heals the Arcane Archer and increases crit hit damage, which is nice, and vice versa. So, yeah, if Archer crits, it heals the Eagle, when Eagle crits, it heals the Archer. Cooldown of 1.5 seconds. Arcane Eagle grants total of 32 energy to the array over 5 seconds. Increases attack speed of the array. So, yeah, basically. This gets buffed and gains energy. I don't know, man. These skills don't read much. Like, yeah, this is a small amount of damage added, which which is nice. Well, yeah, actually, uh, her. You can run her attack, attack emblems, and uh, yeah, her attack is going to be really high. But this is 20% uh, damage, 45% damage, uh, a bit more AOE. Uh, reduces block value, uh, increases attack speed when no one's here, and gets attack speed even more here. But yeah, it's more like utility and healing herself. And yeah, well, didn't look that. It doesn't look that great of a damage improvement wise of course the stats from the level ups are going to be there um, just the 
leveling up to 16 because I don't have the crystals on me. Uh, but that's for all champions. So, yeah. But let's see how it works in practice. And I'm sorry about the sound. The, my mic broke down and it's uh, even more terrible than it uh, usually is. So sorry for that. Uh, I'm gonna get a new one next week probably uh so yeah let's just run the usual setup uh the three tank what most are using just swapped out angel for the new angel and so she protects the arcane eagle yeah you could swap your tanks around how do you see fit and uh, yeah let's play versus Versus Satyan, I guess. Two of the bottom factions, clan. So yeah, let's see the teleport. The faceless is here. And it should teleport the 48 back. And the faceless is gone. Yeah. See, he's here. Alright. Looks like we are going way lower than the Satiana team. Not really doing that much damage. Paladin dies. Uh, we are not killing anything. And our backline died, uh, yeah, earlier than the tanks did. So yeah, the damage discrepancy is higher than the Arcane Archer deals more damage now but didn't he didn't kill anything like so um yeah but look at the damage dot oh dps like the rest of the enemy team by a lot like two and a half times more damage than the red dragon okay uh, yeah this wasn't all too great Faceless got killed. We lost Paladin. Sorcerers did fall. We've lost Naga. Uh, yeah, we killed three units, I believe. So yeah, the damage the damage got higher. But not enough the four times damage of the red dragon, right? It's like, yeah, three, 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 yeah, four times the amount of the damage a dragon dealt. Wow. Still not enough. So, yeah, we killed Faceless and uh, Sorceress and Fawn. Um, yeah, not so cool. Uh, maybe go more on the offensive. Um, mm -hmm. My dragon and falconer. Yeah, 
the domains are on so yeah it's just yeah, it's just that josephine is outdated and bad already so maybe a bit more offensive power will help here face the border back so we killed two units we're getting really low falconer died red dragon is dead so that's nice yeah we are winning yes finally So yeah, the Arcane Archer did a little whole lot of damage to the Falconer. Yeah, not so much. Yeah, but to be fair, it died. Whoa, look at this faceless. Faceless damage was really, really nice. Yeah, it's sometimes when it stays alive for a long time, it, it, it does deal a lot of damage over the course of the time, but nothing impactful that it can outright kill the enemy or any enemy <clears throat> you can see faceless here it's ported back oh eagle died that's bad that's bad Yeah, we got wrecked this time around. Faceless, look at the damage, man. Faceless, pretty nice. Light dragon out DPS to archer. Uh, uh, Eagle, yeah, Eagle died again, man. Yeah, that's bad. But, no, nothing. <laughs> Killed some units again, so, yeah, this seems... Whoa, what the hell? My dragon going off. Here. Hmm, what happens if we use Paladin? get more buffs across the team uh, this falcon this doesn't do a whole lot of damage and uh, yeah it boosts the light dragon obviously Let's see how this will turn out dragon golem went back to uh, the faceless yeah that's one weird way so we killed sorcerers, I believe, or paladin might have died. And this is yeah, died again. Faceless is dead. Both chargers are dead. Fawn is dead. Hardy is dead. Cave Hydra is dead. And this looks like a tie, but in favor of Josephine. All right. Yeah, wow. The damage, the damage of Arcane Archer.
like we lost the Paladin. They are not losing. Uh, you know, all right. Yeah. Well, we killed the sorceress. Yeah, the damage is somehow here, but doesn't really result in any meaningful kills. Um, yeah, let's try someone else. Let's try Necros. Killed Harbinger, but our angel died twice. All right. Can't kill anything there. Yeah, the the damage is crazy. It is, but it doesn't result in any kills. Yeah, that's what your AOE uh, from the additional weapon stars does. It does continuously AOE damage. And it, it inflates the damage meters. When you have on the opposing team uh, like AOE healing going on passively, uh, which Font does provide, and uh, life steal, so it gets healed back. So you need more, way more AOE. Again, we kill the Harbinger and we lose the Angel. And Angel's dead, probably again. Yep. Blood Dragon's dead. Yeah. yeah she's, she does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. But we can't kill anything. Except the Harbinger. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. Oh, we lost the eagle. Light dragon's dead as well. Yeah, well. Yeah, this was a massacre. The whole team isn't that good. We are missing dragon golden. Awakening to be fair, but yeah, what well, versus Setiana, the evil sorceress also doesn't have the awakening, so yeah, at that point, it is invalid versus her. Yeah, this, this is just a massacre, it looks bad, really bad. Uh, yeah. Light Dragon doesn't even get through the bubble. Hmm, maybe Stronghold Ors. Um, what can we do? What can we do in this? this, this, this right now. We can play Seer for fun.
Um, yeah, sure. So will this be better? Now I'm dying under less than a minute. We're not killing anything at all. just sucks to be fair uh, yeah sister doesn't have a, a weapon as well but I know the whole team is just like yeah not there uh, I guess I don't see any point in continuing uh, to show versus any even stronger teams because yeah like Stronghold Oris and uh, is is okay. It's in the middle of the pack, but yeah, as, as we saw, we barely scored a, any win against the Septiana team, and it was versus Dungeon, which also isn't that hot right now with the bad faceless. T well, not it's, it's not bad weapon. It's a tanky weapon, which. Uh, doesn't uh, provide the needed uh, offensive abilities for the Septiana team, uh, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, it yeah, well, you can't kill the Septiana team, and uh, it also has only uh, DC Awakening, the same as Judicator Awakening, and uh, yeah, we have our Divine Herald unit uh, in the form of. Final Battles Angel and uh, yeah, well, she's also not performing. Uh, so yeah, the conclusion is it boosted the damage a bit from stats. Well, you probably on live you can uh, yeah finish the stats for uh, the Arcane Archer, so you gain more attack. Uh, it will be a bit better and. Um, I guess most people have the higher, highest casted emblems on her in this team as well. I'm going on a balanced approach on the test server uh, to see like balanced uh, approach and uh, yeah, it, it had damage. It was nice, but it's not enough to turn the tides here. So. Yeah, there you guys have it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next week where I believe the hero might come out, but I'm not sure. Alright, guys, thank you for watching and bye-bye.